a YouTube puzzle designer here. I'm going to move real quick because my, my camera is about to die. Today I'll be showing you how to use iFunbox to get custom themes on your iPod Touch or iPhone or iPad. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to load, connect it to your computer like you would if you're thinking. <clears throat> then you're just going to leave it open or locked or unlocked, whichever you prefer. Then you're going to want to open up iFunbox. It's pretty much Mac's version of uh, WinSCP, but without using an open SSH. Uh, you're going to open up raw file system, raw file system, var, stash, then you're going to click on themes. Once you have themes open, you're going to want to drag that to the side, and you're going to want to take your theme, which right here is my theme, my custom theme. Just going to drag and drop it in between two folders so that way it's not actually falling into a folder. Then you're going to want to go to your winner board, which mine is right there. And you're going to want to just select a theme like you would any other normal theme and respring spring your device. Hopefully, this won't, my camera won't die while this is respringing. Uh, while this is respring, I just want to let you know of my new theme, Angel of Death. I have a notif it's completely made for iOS 5.0 and newer, and I will have everything up to date as soon as I possibly can. Uh, like I have my lock screen, I have the, I have pretty much everything need necessary, including the notification center there the lock screens jacked up again but I'll fix that but I made custom notification center buttons and icons uh, thanks for watching hope this helped a couple of you guys who don't want to use open SSH um, I will have this up, a video up shortly with a download link for my custom theme thanks for watching and subscribe